What's going on guys? Chris Ryber here. Welcome back to the Hive Room. Today I'm excited to unbox the new XL Power Nimbus 550, the newest helicopter drone the XL Power family. Um, though some parts share similarity between the XL Power 520 and 550, this is a completely redesigned 550 size helicopter with a lot of new updates. So without further ado, let's dive right in, take a closer look. All right, guys, got the boxes out. Let's see the goodies. Here we got the tail boom. Sounds like the tail of a push rod. Save my favorite box for last. All right, Velcro, spare parts, zip ties, landing skids, blade holder, Got the main gear here, belt, tail hub, tail hub assembly, main bearing blocks, looks like electronics tray, motor mount, main servo block. Uh, you can get this in mini or full size uh, servo layout. I went with mini, main shaft, tail boom mounts, Head and swash. Ooh, here comes my favorite part. It's been years since I built a fresh kit. Mm. Got that fresh paint smell. There are our carbon fiber side frames. And here we go. The Nimbus 550 canopy. That is nice, bright, clean paint, shiny clear coat. That is sweet. Pop the canopy on the frame grommets post and let that baby hold it nice and tight. Already, magnets are already uh, pre installed and glued in. So that's it, guys. The Nimbus 550. Um, I'm going to get some pictures of everything laid out before I start the build. As always, you can follow the picture by picture build album as well as my flight videos on my YouTube channel, Chris Ryber RC. So let's see if I can work a little magic here. Three, two, one. All right guys, so how's that for a magic trick? The XL Power Nimbus 550 airframes complete, cyclic and tail servos are installed, battery sitting on a tray, blades are on it, I still have to mount the ESC motor, do all my wiring, and then fly bar lift setup. I'm running mini MKS servos, full size MKS tail, pulse 5000 milliamp 6S pack 50C. I'll be running the Scorpion 120 Tribunus ESC along with a Scorpion 4025 1100 kV motor. For blades, I've got the Rail 556 as well as DTX 557, and I'm running the Rail 967 tail. Straightforward build, super low parts count, probably took about three and a half, four hours to get to where you see it here. Fit and finish is excellent, love the black on black. I think it's to be a fun all out bird. Like I said, went together flawlessly. Um, I was watching Sean's video up on my TV, as well as looking through the manual, so that helped out a lot. But I mean, it's, it's straightforward. If you built the helicopter before, it should go together really well. Um, I took pictures along the way for each step. So as always, I'll do a picture by picture build video as long as followed by flight videos at the field. You can check that out on my Chris Ryber YouTube channel as well as my Chris Ryber RC Facebook page. So you guys know the drill. Until next time, fly safe. 